guys, so today I will be filming an updated makeup collection video. I think it's been about four years since I last filmed one. It's been a long time and my makeup collection has definitely expanded since then, so I wanted to film an updated makeup collection video for you guys. But yeah, I am now living in my own apartment in Berkeley, so I have room for my own vanity. I really wanted to have my own vanity so I could bring up my makeup collection from back home up to Berkeley. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm gonna show you guys what my makeup collection looks like right now and how I organize everything. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I apologize in advance that the lighting is a little off, but it's kind of gloomy outside. So I had to turn on our only little light, which is up there. But anyway, when you walk into our room, this is the first thing you see. I'm not gonna show you the rest of our room because it's a bit messy. I'll film a separate room tour later on, but this is what my vanity looks like. I got that little stool thing from Ikea, the two Alex drawers from Ikea, and then the table topper from Ikea. And then I have all my Funko Pop characters up there. My mom is busy moving stuff around back at home, so I wanted to bring these up with me because I didn't want them to just be in boxes in the garage. And I think they look cute anyway. They add a bit of personality to my vanity. So anyway, when you walk up close, this is what it looks like. It fits perfectly in this corner of our room. I think the table topper is like four feet long. So there's space for my legs to sit in between. I wanted to get this little ottoman thing that had extra storage inside. So I just have like some clothes and some candies and like chargers and stuff. I guess we'll start with what's on top of my vanity. So this mirror is from Ikea too. I love it. I prefer it way more than those like circular mirrors with the lights. First of all, I don't really like the lights. And second of all, they're too small. So I really like this mirror. See me in there. And what I really like about this mirror is that I decorated it with like a bunch of my red bubble stickers because I had a lot laying around and I just thought it added a lot of personality. But yeah, I got all these stickers off of redbubble.com. I love this one right here. It says highlight brighter than your future. The mirror is really big. It's really nice. And I believe it was only like $15 at Ikea. Starting back here, I just have this little like basket thing that I got from Target and it has like Mac Fix Plus, deodorant, Tasha Dewey Mist lotion, body spray, my rose water and glycerin spray, my Real Technique sponge, some face masks, perfume, hair stuff, and then this is like a bottle of dry shampoo that I just covered in my candies from different raves I've been to this past year. And then over here I have this little like bucket that I also got from Target. It's just full of some nail polish. And then back here I have these like random container things full of brushes. I definitely need to clean my brushes tonight, so this is just how I store them. If you guys have any other suggestions for how to store brushes, like, I'd love to know because I don't like the way they look on my counter. I was debating whether or not I should put them in one of the drawers, but we'll see. And then back here, it's just like this lamp that has like a little pencil holder, so I just put brushes in there too. And this lamp does turn on, so it adds some light, but it's a little too warm for makeup looks. And then right here, I just have all of my Funko Pop characters. Right here I have some pictures of like my family that I brought up that I want to hang up, so I'll do that later. And then this is my dad's journal that I'm planning on reading. Then I have my EDC box set with my wristband inside, so I'm just keeping this here so I remember to take it. In this little corner, I have my skincare products. I originally had them in the bathroom, but I don't know, I didn't like the way it was cluttering the counter, so I just keep them here and I can look at myself in the mirror and apply all my products. The Tarte Mary Cooja Oil, CeraVe, Daily Moisturizer, couple little samples, eye cream, Wanderlush, the Belief Aqua Bomb, and then my favorite toner, which is the Breath of Fresh Air from Lush. And then I have this like makeup organizer thing. I actually think it's a paper organizer. I have like my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette, a custom Makeup Forever palette, and then my Z palette back here, and some brushes. And then I have my big Funko Pop character from Attack on Titan. And then these are just some candies that I made so far for EDC. But yeah, that's what the top looks like. And then we'll move on to this set of Alex drawers. This was the original Alex drawer set that I had from my first makeup collection video. It was the one my dad got me for my, I don't remember which birthday, probably my 17th birthday. So up here in the first row, I have a bunch of random eye products. I have my Naked Cosmetics pigments, some Wet n Wild loose pigments, drugstore eyeshadows, my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, these Maybelline color tattoos. Wow, those are super old. And then just like some random pigments, glitters, the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows. Yeah, this is just a pretty random drawer. I have plenty of room with this new setup for new makeup, so I can always expand my collection later on. In the second drawer, I have more eye products. So I have mascaras right here. 
eyeliners in here, and then my brow products like my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, eyebrow gel, pencils, and then I have my lashes back there. In this third drawer, I have face products. So I have all my foundations lined up right here, like the Maybelline Fit Me, Clinique, Milani, Conceal and Perfect, Wet n Wild, Photo Focus, CoverGirl, Revlon, e.l.f. And then I have a ton of concealers. So I have like the Cap on D, Tarte Shape Tape, LA Pro Girl, one of my faves. And then I have some primers right here. And then over here I have setting powders. So I have like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, Airspun, Cap on D. I have this Bobbi Brown Face Primer. I have the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And then I have some random lip products back here that I don't really gravitate towards. And they also didn't fit in my lip drawer. So I just keep them back here. I have some like the Revlon lip butters and then a bunch of like sample lip products that I receive. And in this fourth drawer, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes. This drawer is so heavy. Jeffree Star, Beauty Killer and Androgyny palette. All my naked palettes. Too Faced Sweet Peach, Lorac Pro. I have the Kylie, I think it's the Royal Peach palette. And then the Tardist Pro, the new Carly Bible palette. All of my Morphe brushes palettes are down there. All the 35 O's, 35 D, Jaclyn Hill, 35 B, and I think a couple more. Urban Decay Electric, which I am taking to EDC with me. Makeup by Mario Master Palette with Anastasia. I have the Renaissance, another Carly Bible palette. And then I have some smaller ones right here. This one's just an MTZ palette. I think there's only one MAC eyeshadow in it. Then the Kylie Holiday 2016 palette. Makeup Geek with Manny. MUA palette, a lot of Juvia's Place palettes back here, and then the ones in the very back are like older palettes that I don't really use anymore. Smashbox palette and like Urban Decay, that sort of stuff. Super full. Ugh. And then down here, I don't know why, but some of these Alex drawers, the drawers never shut all the way. It's really annoying, but down here I have some random stuff like candy, backups of Real Techniques, Tarte Shape Tape, 3D whitening strips. And then like I have any cute packaging that I want to keep. So the Jeffree Star Manny collab. I have the Mariah Carey MAC collection in here that I like to keep in the packaging. Just because those are like products that you don't really want to use. You just want to keep for like memories. Some samples, passport, and some mail. It's a pretty random drawer, but it's nice for storage. Okay, so moving on to the next side. Down here I just have my vibration just right there, and then my backpack for school. I just like to keep them under here and out of the way. Okay, so moving on to this side. This is the new set that I bought about a month ago. Just so you guys know, I built this whole thing by myself. I like building things, so. It took me about like an hour to build everything, so it wasn't too bad. I remember building the first one back in high school and that took me hours, but this one was a lot easier than I remember. So we'll start off with the top drawer. This is full of eye products. Well, first of all, this stuff is pretty random. I just have like a dust cloth, makeup wipes, my earphones, and then like brush cleanser. And then I have all of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. And then back there I have some bulk glitters and then some ColourPop gel liners. And then here I have lip products. So I have like lip liners from Italia, NYX, MAC. I have lip balms. So I have my Rosebud Solve and then like couple random ones from Anthony and Jack Black. And then in the second drawer are all of my highlighters. It's probably my favorite drawer out of all of them, but I have all of my ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks right here. I have some liquid illuminators in this corner. And then I just keep a bunch of random ones here. So I have e.l.f. I have City Color. I have this MAC pigment in vanilla that I like to use to highlight. And then I have Anastasia Beverly Hills, so Hollywood. Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. And then I have like Ofra Cosmetics over here. And Becca. I have Betty Luminizer, Mary Luminizer. And then some Wet n Wild ones right here. And then I have my Jeffree Star Skin Frost. So I have Eclipse, King Tut, Peach Goddess. Ooh. Lavender Snow, which is probably my favorite, honestly. Mint Condition and Ice Cold. I think I'll bring a lot of these to EDC because they're really fun colors to play with. And then I have Kylie Illuminating Powders. I reviewed these on our channel so you guys can go check it out, but this is what it looks like. I have Salted Caramel and Cotton Candy Cream. Then I have the Jacqueline and Becca Face Palette. I have a couple Twitter brand highlighters. This highlighter is from Bad Lib Cosmetics. It's really pretty. And then I have some from Honey Kiss Cosmetics. And then back here I have glow kits and stuff. So I have the Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek Palette. I have the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette, the Ultimate Glow Kit. I have Moonchild. I have Gleam and then Sun Dipped, which I love. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. They're so nice. So in this drawer, I have all of my lip products. Right here, I have all ColourPop. So I have the ColourPop Lippy Sticks and then like the ColourPop Satin and Matte Liquid Lipsticks. 
And then I have a Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks over here. And these are like Anastasia, Ofra, Kat Von D, some NYX lip glosses, Wet n Wild right here. I have Dose of Colors, more Jeffree back here. And then tons of lip glosses right here like Marc Jacobs, Bite Beauty, Jouer, Buxom. And then I have my MAC lipsticks right here. And then a couple of random ones over here, like YSL, Urban Decay, and Lime Crime. And then that's it for my lip product drawer. And then in the fourth drawer, I have a ton of face products. So these are like my blushes and bronzers. I have like a bunch of MAC ones right here. I have some NYX cream blushes right here. Milani bake blushes, Wet n Wild. And then these are like my e.l.f. blush duos and then some NARS blushes right here, which are some of my favorites. And then I have my ColourPop highlighter and bronzer duo. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, Milani Bronzer, Tarte blushes, which are some of my favorites. My one and only ColourPop blush. Some City Color blushes back there. This Tarte blush palette, which is super pretty. That's what it looks like. And I have Juvia's Place blush palettes. My Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Kat Von D Wet n Wild bronzer. And then I have like... Jaclyn Hill face palette, Urban Decay blush palette with Gwen Stefani, more Wet n Wild blushes, just stuff that I don't really gravitate towards in the back. Then that is it for my face drawer. And then in the last drawer, I just have all the stuff that I'm bringing to EDC, like my outfits, and then some earplugs, some cool fisheye lenses, and like bathing suits and stuff like that. So I just use this drawer for extra storage. Okay, well, that is it for my makeup collection video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section, and I will be sure to answer them later on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check us out on Twitter and Instagram at JGB28, and I'll see you in the next one.